Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Yaakov here again, making another video here for all you blessed and wonderful people here today. May the love of Yeshua be upon you all and your families, and may you find peace and His shalom. And I come here again today to talk briefly about the chapters um, in Genesis 1, 2, and 3, maybe even 4, and just before five somewhere there but Genesis 1 2 and 3 you'll find that a lot of people say well you know where's the father and where's the son in the Old Testament where does it show you the the Holy Spirit where's the the three where's father son and Holy Spirit and I'm not here to tell you about the father son and Holy Spirit I'm here to just tell you and point you towards Yeshua towards God because he is my Lord and Savior he is my God I'm telling you the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is one. There's only one God. There's one throne. And that one throne is the Father. And He came down called the Son. He is Yeshua. It's Him. So this is how I see it. When you look at the book of Genesis chapter 1, it says God created. And then you'll go in and you'll read God, God, God throughout the whole first chapter. You get into the second chapter, it says God. And then somehow there's a change of hands. Now the hand says, Lord God. Now, Lord God came into the garden and walked in the garden. Now, Lord God, for me, and how I see it, is Yeshua. Took form and started walking in the garden. He said, Adam, where are you? Eve. And he goes on behind the bushes. He goes, why are you behind the bushes? He goes, I've got no clothes on. He goes, I've got, I'm nude. He goes, who told you you had no clothes on your He goes, did you eat of the tree of good and evil? And he said, the woman you made me. Now, if, if you notice, Eve's name's not mentioned there because Adam had called her woman. She still did not get her name yet. So then God, Lord God, sorry, went up to her. This is Yeshua. Remember, the first chapters was God, the Father, created. Now it's Lord God takes form and comes down. This is what you call Yeshua. And Eve turned around and said, well, the snake beguiled me, tricked me. And then he went to the snake and you could see that they're just passing the buck down. He goes, all right, you're gonna slither, you're gonna to on your ground to dust you eat. And then um, for Eve, it was um, you, your childbirth is gonna be pretty hard doing. And for a man, you're gonna have to work all the days of your life um, to feed your families pretty much and I'm just paraphrasing so now um, you see all this and then you see after he does this and he, he tells him to leave the garden now what happens is Lord this is the Holy Spirit is there to teach them and guide them and when I say this is again in the first couple of chapters is God, God, God created, Lord God came down he left, expels them out of the garden and Lord, the Holy Spirit is there to show them throughout the whole Old Testament, this is where I see the three, this is how I see it, now if you want you can read it for yourselves You can and prove all things, hold fast the things that are good, this is in 1 Thessalonians 5, um, you'll see that you are not to believe just everyone. You've got to make sure that it's in the Bible. Even when I speak, you've got it's got to be shown in the Bible um, that these people are not to be gall you or to mislead you. Here on this channel, when I say, I love you all, I, I want all of you to find Yeshua because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is Yeshua. It's Him. He's coming soon. Repent of your ways. Be baptized in His holy name. Receive His Holy Spirit. And the Lord will be with you always. And this is what I call the Ruach, the Holy Spirit, the Lord God. God Himself, it's Yeshua. Much shalom to you and your families, and go make disciples of men, and shalom, shalom.